Post One. Tell us how this collaboration came about. Once I saw the work that, that Mike had done, I, I didn't know you by name, but I knew a lot of the images. And so it was, you know, it was just incredible to see all this great stuff. And, you know, you said you'd be open to collaborating. So, bam, you know, I, I love uh, making images about subjects I love based on strong, you know, strong photographs. So it was, it was kind of a no brainer for me. Well, the same for me, because uh, I was kind of, um, Working uh, kind of undercover, and when I, you were probably my first choice to do a collaboration. So I was just so fortunate mm -hmm. to come across, you know, with Rick and and uh, cross paths. And uh, my wife actually worked with you back in the day, so that was another reason why um, you might have like clicked with me a little bit in the beginning. It was just an easy, it was an easy um, fit, or however you say it. it was great yeah. that uh, we were able to do that. So why easy? What what was the inspiration? Tell us why you selected this, this particular artist. Looking through Mike's images, um, there, you know, there, there are so many great ones, but the things that work well for me are things that are iconic uh, because I'm sort of reducing an image when I illustrate it to what I think is its most powerful essence. And there, there are so many good shots that Mike's done, but they don't necessarily translate to what I do. But this one, I thought was really powerful and I've done portraits of a lot of my favorite hip hop heroes but I'd never done an Easy E and NWA is you know one of my all-time favorite groups of any genre and you know Easy E was uh, you know the sort of the uh, you know the architect of that um, and and so you know as much as I love Ice Cube I love Dr. Dre um, I love you know I love everybody involved in in NWA you know, Easy is was the facilitator for a lot of it, so I think he deserved the recognition. And let's see, Austin Brin asks, "What strikes you most about Easy's involvement in the battle between free speech and obscenity?" Freedom of speech is really, really important, and so you know, the idea of obscenity to me, I can't even relate to that concept because if it can happen in the real world, then. Um, then it can't be obscene. Obscene would be about something that's not, couldn't happen, it's so vile, it, 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 you know, it's not possible, but human beings are capable of a lot. So just reporting on what human beings have done to me is never gonna, is never gonna be obscene. Um, you know, there's a debate about whether it's glorifying it or not. I think people are sophisticated enough to see the difference between, um, you know, uh, uh, what, so, what someone is, is uh, license people are taking creatively and you know and what they're what they're encouraging but um yeah i might not want my seven year old listening to nwa but i still think that nwa you know is they're an easy e they're important artists and um they have every right to produce the work they produce and i'd also like to touch on what shepherd said as far as like all they did was um explain how the streets were there were strawberries in every neighborhood there was you know everything that was going on in their music was directly from the streets they didn't make up what was going on in their lyrics it was just the truth okay. he represents freedom of speech no doubt but all the portraits shepherds made he chooses easy to put an american flag in the background i don't understand please explain well i didn't choose to put the american flag there it was in the original photo so i'm uh I have plenty of opinions about why I think it's relevant to the image, but I'd like for Mike to explain um, the American flag in there and whether it was your composition to have the American flag, whether it was Easy's idea, what you were thinking at the time. Yeah. So this is the original photo. I was uh, lucky enough to be in the studio with all the artists in my book, and Easy was no exception. So when I went to Easy, we were kind of waiting for Dre and everybody to show up. So he. We sat down in his office, he showed me around the studio, and we listened to all the music before it got released. I was really fortunate. So we were hanging out for a few hours, and I, I brought him out to um, his parking lot, because I saw a giant flag back there. And that was just the way I shoot. I just try to be creative. I, I, I scope out the, the location before I even go in, and I have a game plan. So that, you know, the flag is in the shot, and I'm, I'm just so happy that, uh, it's one of my favorite shots. I've never uh, really shown anybody for, um, God, I've never shown anybody until I put out this book, so I've had it in my archives for 20 years. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I love the shot. And, you know, I did a series 
couple years ago with the American flag and there were symbols of all sorts of different things, some of which I agreed with and some of which I didn't agree with, but reflected the diversity of America. I love this because in a way, you know, easy achieve the American dream through uh, very, un, you know, uh, by very unusual route, but none, you know, nonetheless was a, a, a successful entrepreneur. Easy was a successful entrepreneur and, um, you know, li lived his life the way he wanted to live it. That is the embodiment of the American dream and the idea that the American flag represents some sort of Norman, Norman Rockwell concept of America you know, I, I completely disagree with, and I think um, saying that you know, um, uh, you know, America um, is for you know people of all types with all sorts of all sorts of visions, uh, different visions of how they see the world. Um, this you know, this is great. Easy, um, you know, easy to me is um, about empowerment. He he had a creative vision and made it happen, and was a, a success with it. I mean. It, it, I think that, that a, a lot of people probably do take the freedoms we have in America for, for granted and of course the um, NWA ended up being under surveillance by the FBI because of fuck the police and things like that but still it wasn't just that speech that we don't want to hear so you're shut down. You know, they, they were sort of uh, put on notice but um, you know, but they were able to say what they wanted to say, and and I think that um, yeah, that's paved the way for it's paved the way for a lot of uh, you know, a lot of other acts. Uh, you know, I know that that NWA was an inspiration for people like Rage Against the Machine too, and um, you know, I, I I definitely think that Easy and NWA are are really important hip hop pioneers, not just musically, but um, but in terms of the content, the extremity of the content. Speaking of music, what's your favorite Easy -E song or Easy -E NWA? What's your favorite song? You want to hit that? Dope man, dope man. I mean, that, <laughs> that comes to mind first. Uh, like you said, fuck the police was just to blast that out of our apartment when the police were arresting somebody downstairs. I, I mean, I um, I love uh, I love Easy Does It and Straight Outta Compton. Um, Boys in the Hood to me has just got that. Um, it's just got, it's that slow pace, the bass is killer, the lyrics are sinister. Um, to me, it just had, it had the, you know, the, the attitude, the swagger, the danger. Um, it, that hit me in the chest like a ton of bricks when I first heard that. You know, I like one lyric, um, you don't like the way I'm living, well fuck you. For years, when I wanted to go out putting posters up in the street, bombing, if I wanted to get hyped, it was Ice Cube's The Predator, Easy Does It, or Straight Outta Compton would be the three records that I would want to put on. Yeah, when I go surfing, uh, <laughs> I definitely put on uh, something from NWA. Yeah. You know, and, uh, it makes me a little more aggressive and uh, deal with the knuckleheads. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of NWA, Shepard, do you think there'll be an NWA version um, possibly in the future? I've thought about doing something with uh, with NWA, but uh, it you know I love I love Dre, I love Ice Cube, um, you know their material after NWA, uh, but you know in in a way I think uh, Ice Cube at this point is associated more with his movies and it he doesn't have um, the same impact. Easy E's like a time capsule of, of you know, an important moment in the evolution of hip hop. So, you know, if I was gonna extract one person from NWA that I felt represented that moment in time, Easy's the right one. And, um, you know, I, I think that, uh, you know, I might just let this be the symbol of, of that period, NWA and Easy E. I have my book, it's West Coast Hip Hop, a History and Pictures. It's got every rap artist from the 90s from the West Coast. It's, um, you know, something that, uh, people are really enjoying, so go out and get it. You can get it at kill-mill.com. You can also go to my website, mikemillerphoto.com, hit store, goes right to it. Instagram, Mike Miller Photo. It's awesome.